Hello and welcome fans and friends, my name is Abrid Ben and today I uh, set out to finally figure out how to use GameCube controllers with Wii games and what I mean is the Wii games that didn't actually use the motion controls but you know, I mean there is Wii games that use the GameCube controller but not all of them did that so I find a workaround in order to do that and it involves three programs before you enter Dolphin basically and it lets you configure your controllers as if it's a you know Xbox 360 controller or even Xbox One controller or PS4, whatever you have that you use in Dolphin, you can use your normal GameCube controller. I'll show you uh, what adapter you need here. You'll need this here, which is the official Nintendo Wii U GameCube adapter. Uh, and you only have to plug in the, the black wires I figured out. Um, I think they only include the grey one because the Wii U didn't have enough power in the USBs to support it so they had to use two. But anyway, now that that's plugged in, you'll need three programs. They are called ZDIG, Wii U USB GCN adapter and you'll need uh, VJoy. VJoy, I believe unless your controllers kind of act like a keyboard. You'll want to go to ZDIG first, I'll show you. Once you have all three of these things uh, installed, of course, uh, you want to chain. You want to press options here and list all devices, and you'll want to click on this one here, which is WP OT8, and you'll want to install your driver because you probably don't have it yet. Um, so we'll do that. Make sure you've selected WP because it, it went back to mice whenever I did it sometimes, and it took forever for it to stop. I actually had to restart my computer a couple times because of it. Anyway, you keep that open and then you need to open up the the GameCube USB um, program. So for some reason it doesn't detect my my first port on the, the adapter there. So I have to plug it into the second port so keep that in mind whenever you start this up and it should look something like that. And then we go to the configure VJoy, and uh, I think that basically then turns these two into a keyboard controller. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but it just lets you use it as a Windows controller, as far as I know. And by the way, all of these are actually free, so you can just download them. Uh, then we can go to Dolphin, or whatever program you're probably needing to use this in. I uh, say Dolphin is the one I'm using it for. Uh, and then you go to, you'll need it to be a standard controller because it looks at it as a standard controller and you can configure and you'll need to change this here to I think is this one here yeah it has to be this one in particular the input to VJoy device because that's the one that I plugged it into the port I plugged it into and you can see that I'm able to move my analog stick at the same time as well as the C stick Again, these will actually pop up whenever you move them and you can configure your controls whatever way you like where Dolphin doesn't initially let you do that from the get-go it should let you do it but it doesn't um, so yeah that's basically my workaround for uh, basically be able to play any Wii game or GameCube game the way you want to like you can actually configure the controls this way that's what is good about these programs is you can alter the controls if you want to and oh yeah and I forgot to say one more thing if you play like Melee or Super Mario Sunshine really important that you have you see this little thing that's going red here you want the trigger to basically hit here which you need the threshold to be 70 um, and whenever you press in like that that's your analog control and then it hits the digital button which is the full press It'll be like that for both of them. You need them to be like that for both of them, unless you want to have some custom control where it automatically just presses it in like that uh, without having to do a long press. So if you find that helpful, let me know. Uh, if you find this useful, um, leave a comment below, of course. Uh, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, but I always encourage you to do so because I'm always trying to upload content. And uh, yeah, that's everything. So thanks for watching. I hope that helped. If you have any trouble, let me know and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.